Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, you can see that I did come in here and I did kind of play around with uh, destroying this bot that was over here on the hill. And I actually managed to uproot him without destroying him. So you can see he's just tumbling down the hill over there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. I like it. But now we got to go in for the kill. And I wanted you guys to be here for it before we go off. Oh, and there we go. Pretty much that's all I had to do was ram him. And uh, then all his pieces would uh, snap right off like that. So now that we got everything back the way it should be, I think nothing really got destroyed except for a will in the front, which we can replace rather quickly. Uh, we did get a booster out of this. I don't know where that came from, but we're definitely going to take that booster right here. We'll put it up here on the top where it's a little bit more protected if I can. I don't know why it won't go up there right now. Let's take these off. Take both of these batteries off. We need to uh, pull one of these guys, snag one of those guys up there and bring them back down. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to go up there. What if I take this guy down? No, it doesn't want to go up there. Maybe because of uh, this guy? Maybe. Let's see. No, it just doesn't want to fit in there. How big is it? Hmm. That's weird that it won't go on top of one of these blocks. I guess maybe you need two? Two spaces open? So let's remove that one. And then see if it will go in there. Yeah, so that works. And then I can put this weapon back. Yep, that's facing the right way. And I can put this weapon back the way I want it. Uh, although it probably won't serve the purpose as much as it was before. So maybe what I can do is take this one off. And uh, stick this guy in there. And then have the exact same effect that I had before. But without any of the loss. So if I put this guy back on. No, we need a one block. We'll put that guy right back on. This guy can move back up. One more space if I don't keep sliding down for some reason. And then when I get more more little things, I'll throw those in there. But let's go up there and actually get our little block. Now, I am going to grab some of these batteries real quick. Put them on. Transfer the energy to them. You can see they have more energy than I do at the moment. And I only need a little bit. I, I can come over here and get these in a, in a second as we get a little bit more. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. You can do it. All right, so we got one up here. Yeah, that's all we have right now is just one. Let's uh, let's attach them to the top of our bot. Let's come up here and get our other player tech that we have. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is grab him real quick before we fall down all the way. Oh, yes, Papa Willy, guys, Papa Willy. We're going to pick this stuff up, but we're going to pick it up rather quickly because I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of these SCUs really fast let's see where are they at now you can have multiple ones down and it's really cool that they allow you to do that because that helps out so much now they are fairly expensive remember about three thousand two thousand five hundred really for each one not uh, not be on the realm of possibility to afford that if you got a little bit of money saved up and from all the items we're getting from here if you even sold just a small portion of them these uh these big blocks these uh, big flat ones, those are the ones that you can use for that cheat. But if you just sell one of those, that's the full price of one of these SEUs. So you don't even have to cheat, and you can still make plenty of money off of this. And then all those extra batteries and things that you have, that's just extra gravy right there for you. Let's see if we can get out of here without spreading this stuff out too much. Boosters, come on. Yeah, I even like the way that looks. Come on, come on, come on. We didn't put one of the big boosters on there, and I think that's the one thing that might be slowing us down a little bit is the big booster's not on there anymore. So we might have to put that sucker back on if we can find a good spot for it. I don't want to just kind of throw it on there tacky-like. I want to actually have a decent area for that to be on there. Let's see. Let's uh, move these out of the way. We are going to... Where can we put this little guy? Hmm... Uh, you know what? If we rearrange a little bit of this stuff, we'll bring this down, might be able to put you like right here somewhere on the inside, such as moving this guy off. We'll take a few of these blocks away. We don't really need them there. They're just kind of, oh, no, 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 grab that. Who's going to take it in with it? Uh, we can put these back. Uh, well, you know, we, we do still have to have a space for that other little, um, selling device, so that we can leave that there. Let's put these back over here. Uh, how much is left? Just a little bit, not too much. Once those are picked up, we'll take this back, and we'll, uh, come over here and see what's left. Let's, uh, scroll out a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing. I need to, uh, I need to get a running start. Let's get some boosters going. 
Yes, boosters. We're going to drop one of these down so it can get picked up. We'll drop this one down over here as well. They will pick those up. Let's come over here and get some energy really quickly while all that's going on. That's looking pretty good. Let's uh, let's put this guy down right here because I'm going to pick up all these items anyways. But I need to have a spot where my SCU is the last one because I don't want to leave any of these behind. Remember, if you do leave them behind, of course, they will continue to pick stuff up if anything you know happens to drop in front of it. That never really happens. But what will happen is an enemy will come by and actually you know start attacking it. And then you'll lose all those blocks that you have stored in there before it actually gets destroyed. So that's the downside to leaving these things behind. Let's put that there. Let's move this guy a little bit further into there. And uh, we'll drop this one on the ground. And I think that should be good right there. You know, our batteries are probably pretty close to being full. Yep, you can see it right there on the top. So let's go ahead and drop these on the ground. All that should be picked up. And now we can finally concentrate on our main goal, which is to kill the uh, Geocore Tex. So that we can, or not Geocore, the uh, GSO Tex. Or is it Geocore? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Sorry guys, I was looking for Geocore this whole time. We need GS or Geocore. Unbelievable. And there's been plenty of them. I've been attacking them. I just haven't been looking for them. Uh, I can't believe I, I made that mistake. But uh, we did destroy that base. And I think the base might count as a uh, Geocore because it is a massive one. So, you know, yay for, uh, for coincidence on that one uh, that we found them. And you are still not dead. Jeez, there we go. So that one didn't count. Even though he was a Geocore tech, uh, maybe not completely. He did have a lot of GSO pieces on it. This guy has a pretty big uh, tank on him. I wouldn't mind grabbing that tank for my boosters, but he may not. Uh, he may not let me. If I get too close, those shotguns will make quick work of that, and I'll end up losing those. Ah, uh, like that. And there it goes his popping. Yeah, man. I thought for a second I might be able to get that. If you put it on your bot fast enough, you might be able to heal it up and get that extra little something. But no, didn't uh, didn't quite have enough time. I do think if you had enough shields and enough uh, repair bubbles and you knew the quest was coming for the Hawkeye, you might actually be able to run over where it crash lands and heal it up before all those pieces go boom. But again, then again, maybe not. It's going to be completely up to chance, I think, on whether they programmed it to be able to get healed or not. Either way, if your bot's big enough, you don't even need to worry about the damages caused. The reward for doing that means you can get a plane right off the bat. And I think next time we do this, uh, go back around and do another Let's Play, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Mm, nothing really there that I need, so we're going to leave that alone. Let's keep going and exploring and seeing what we can find out here. I'll put my my skills back up over there on the left-hand side so you guys can see exactly how much we're gaining or not gaining as we go through. Now, we don't really need too much more in the way of um, experience <laughs> for our next level. We really only need to do maybe two or three quests. This one, however, it seems like it's pretty difficult. Like, we've got to take on Geocore. So I'm hoping we get more experience for doing this one than we do for any of the other ones. Come on, die, buddy. I'm going head-to-head -head with you, and I'm winning this one. Yes. Okay, five out of 15. We just need a few more like that fully outfitted as geocore we're going to try to stay over in the mountainous regions that's where you're normally going to find them this desert area over here you might find uh, you know venture a little bit of uh, geocore mixed in but mountainous region is where you're going to find the majority of the geocores and it's just kind of hard to maneuver in there but that's why you need those big wheels it's, it's kind of cool that they actually tend to stay where they're the most useful i mean you know the bigger wheels they can get around a little bit easier and so they they do tend to stay over there i think that's a big one i think it is boosters come on still not quite as fast as i want it to be i think we need to put a lot more boosters and a lot more uh fuel tanks on it come on baby wow look at that we destroyed that tree in one shot with that rail gun that is pretty cool where is your cab i don't even see your cab in there i don't see it aiming at anything either oh there it is right on the top are you blowing up yet? Nope. I didn't get a. I didn't get a uh, update for that one. That sucks. Well, you know, it's not uh, not the end of the world because there are more techs nearby. So not those two. What about you two? Oh yes, please. Come on, come on, come on. Go for it. Go for it. Get in there. Nice, nice. All right. We can kill these guys. We shouldn't be too low on power either. Yeah, big ram. Big ram. You ain't that big. And <laughs> you can see that the mobs. 
If I was trying to find Geocore and I was doing that with a small bot, chances are I wouldn't find very many. It, it, they do kind of vary on your size, and I'm pretty much the smallest I can be and still find Geocore. Like, these guys are tiny Geocore. This is, this is like, uh, very pathetic. Uh, there's no... There's no Megaton Cannons on these guys because of the size. There's there's no, like, giant wheels on them because of the size. Uh, it's very much, um, you know, a, uh, a one-way street with this bot. He's, he's able to take them all on. Oh, yes, there's another one out there. Come on, come on, come on. Book it, baby, book it. I do like holding down the, the boosters, but just not enough fuel, man. That's... That one little tiny venture fuel tank, not not what we're looking for. We need the Geocore one if we can find it without destroying it. Come on, get it in, get it in. Get it, get it, get it. You got it. Oh, you're good. Yes, 9 out of 15. Tell me that's a cluster of three of them. Yes, it is. Holy crap, look at those dudes. They're a little bit bigger than me, and there's three of them. Okay, well, this might be, uh, this might be interesting. They haven't been doing too much damage to me. There's an enemy gang up ahead. Show them how we do this. <laughs> Somebody's a Katy Perry fan. Come on, you're, that was too easy. Holy crap! Look at that guy. I don't. That, why does that remind me of Star Wars in a, in a way? Kind of almost like where they're gonna throw um, Luke into that uh, that beast that lives for like a thousand years and you know slowly digest you. That little flying. Oh, look at this. This is what we need. We need we need the stuff off of you, Big Daddy, and we need it intact. Oh, yes. Come on. No, don't blow up. Uh, I think we got one. I think we did get one, though. We didn't get the other, but we got one. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, let's see. What can we do with this? I need to make room for the other the other one. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess I can get rid of the shotgun and get rid of these pieces. Let's put this down while we're doing this. That way we can at least pick some of this stuff up that we're dropping. Not a complete waste of money. Uh, we need a small square right there, and I guess we can go with another battery since we're going to have the space for it anyways, so let's go ahead and snag one of those, we'll put that right there, and then we'll move this sucker over, and we'll move this, and we're going to have to find another space for that, but we have you, and you are staying, I don't want to go looking for you and find out where you're at, let's see, turn the boosters the right way, if you please, there you go, and uh, where are we going to put the boosters? Boosters, boosters. And remember, you can't really have anything on top of them. So that is going to be the drawback. I guess we could put a booster over here. This is just an accident waiting to happen, by the way, guys. Because uh, it is uh, right on top of my batteries, and they're very explosive. And yeah, it's going to be a bad, bad day here in a minute. But we're going to give it a shot. And uh, worse comes down to worse. We have to rebuild this guy, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think we we probably can handle it fairly well. Let's see. We're going to get rid of some of these just so we can put this guy down a little further. We'll replace him if we ever get another big one. But for now, I think that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and pick up some of these while we're at it so we can make a little bit of money. We didn't put on any of these weapons, these stud lasers. I do like these, by the way. We can put those on, like, right there in the front. Make it even more beefy than it already is. But I'm trying to keep it as much of a Hawkeye bot as possible. So, let's see. We got some shotguns. Let's see. We're going to put a shotgun here. Make the front a little bit more beefy. The back needs to be a little bit more beefy as well. Now that we uh, kind of have it exposed a little bit more. Right there. More shotguns. Shaka laka. Uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, maybe we can even put another shotgun right on top. We could do like a shotgun marathon right here. Let's. Uh, are we out of shotguns? I think we are. We're out of shotguns. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much the same on both sides. It just doesn't quite go as far over on one side as it does the other. That's why it looks a little off. I wish I could get that to be as symmetrical as possible, guys. But I think that's going to be the closest we get for the time being. I will expand this bot. He is going to become bigger and bigger over time. But I don't want to go too big, too quick. I'm trying to 
I, I really want to get to the flying stage. Like, I haven't done very much with the flying, and I'll be the first to admit, I'm not even that good at flying in this game, but it's so fun to do, and it's kind of new. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going for, so I hope you guys are okay with it. If you want me to slow down and do more building and, and on the tanks and things of that sort, I definitely will, but I don't have a lot of the pieces that I want. I don't have any of the, the track pieces. Oh, these are going to be the three I need right here, three more, and I think there's actually a fourth one in there. Hopefully, we have the energy to do it, but yeah, there's a, there's a few pieces on the tank stuff, like the treads uh, that I need that I don't have yet, and until I get those, wow, look at that Vant Duster. That is pretty cool looking. He's uh, very easily destroyed, but at the same time, he at least look cool. What about you? You, uh, Big Ben. Big Ben. Oh, no, don't, don't destroy the fuel tanks. Well, there they go, and he still didn't get destroyed. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is nuts. You're still there, huh? Okay, well, we'll put another booster there and another booster right there, because why not? I mean, that, that, that looks normal, right? That looks completely normal. Oh, we got an invader. Why did I know invader was going to spawn? Always, always when we're over here doing a quest of some sort, the invader has to spawn and just come over here and wreck all of our fun. But we're going to get it before he comes in. This is going to be 14. Did we get him? No, we didn't. We need to kill this guy. We got 11 seconds to back it up. I don't know if we're going to have enough time. We might just have to go forward and book it out of here. There we go. Book it. Go, 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 go. Can we do it? Nine seconds to leave the area? You know what? Nobody nobody scares me out of an area. We're going to come over here. We're going to we're gonna see what we're handling here, and then we're going to go back in and, and kill you. Uh, Maybe not. You have a lot of shields on, dude. You have a lot of shields on. I don't know if we can handle this guy. Let's go a drive-by and see what we're, what we're going with here. Oh, man. Look at you, my friend. Look at you. I don't think we can take that guy on yet. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more shields. We're going to need um, we're gonna need some help before we can do that. So let's kill you because you're over here and you're the new corporation. I love how they're kind of going off and exploring different areas. Salt Flats is where these guys were supposed to be hanging out, and they're anywhere but Salt Flats right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. We completely annihilated that guy. Uh, I do believe they have an extra strength, though, just to ram. And that's kind of cool. That means you can use them as a melee. Because we really haven't had a melee class. Yeah, Geocore could because they have the strength. Uh, they have the size. But they don't really have the damage. Even when you put that stuff on and you ram into them, they don't really do anything. And it's nighttime. If it was daytime, I'd put down my shields. I put down or my shields, my solar reactors and my wireless chargers to take that guy on. But... I don't think we can get through his shields with the, the weapons we have. We need some megaton cannons to get through that. And, yeah, so we're going to leave him alone. What is that over there? Is that another Geocore? I think it is. I think it's the last one we need to get this quest. Come on, get closer, get closer. I love the lights. Look at that. Has the hazard lights on, spinning around. Come on, get him, get him, get him. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, come on, you can see his cab right there. Almost, almost. Is he dead? Maybe. He stopped. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got a little bit of experience on that one. Hunt down and destroy 30 enemy techs. It doesn't matter what techs, as long as they are able to be destroyed. And there's a few over here, so we can do that. We didn't get a lot of experience on that one. I thought we would get a lot more than that. That's kind of a small quest for him. We're going to have to go through a lot of these quests to level up. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder if the base is considered an enemy tech. Like, can I destroy it right now before I destroy the guardians? Why it's still enemy and uh, get a get an e extra count for that. Come on, you know you want to die, right? You want to die? Blow up, blow up, my friend. Oh, seriously, you get too, that dude took forever. Now I'm gonna leave you here because you're you're a good little dude and your shield. Uh, no, it's still not up. It's still not up over there. Oh yes, what do we got over here? We got a base and three, four, yeah, four guys and a base. So good. Uh, oh, no, you destroyed one. I didn't get credit for that. If only I had gotten a hit in there earlier, I probably would have got credit. I think you have to get at least a little bit of damage. I don't know why it's cutting in and out of the sound. I do apologize for that, guys. I know, um, what are you doing right there, dude? I don't, uh, I don't know what his goal was. Come on, die, punk. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been cutting out since I switched over to the Hawkeye after that invader had landed. So that could have something to do with the game kind of glitching out. We did have 
a little bit of that stuff happening. If you guys remember, we did have a glitch earlier on in the game that actually caused it to crash, and that might be one of the main reasons. Uh, what is going on over here? Why is that red? You are not a enemy tech. I don't. I don't know what that's showing. Uh, we're gonna leave it there. Let's see if we can find some more up here. Actually, let's go over into the grassland. We haven't really looked into the grassland very often, and I like the grassland at night. Although you can see the sun is coming out here, so we should be able to charge up here in a few. But I don't want to get too far away from that uh, that invader either, because that is what I'm trying to go after. Look at the beautiful, beautiful lights. It's very, very quiet. <laughs> I don't know where the music in the game went. The music in the game, as time has gone on, has changed. It's it's kind of always been the same music, but they play it less than they used to. And I, I kind of like the music. I, I wish they'd play it more often, but I'm not really sure why they're choosing to, uh, to do it the way they're doing it. Why does it look like that invader is attacking one of my places? Uh, is it just that he happens to be lining up in the exact same direction? It might be. Might be. So let's go ahead and head on out there. I think it, I think I might, might be able to put down my solar panels. Might be time, hopefully. There's another dude over here, though. Let's go kill this guy real quick. Give us a few more minutes before we get over there. Give the sun a chance to come out fully so we know we can take him on. Salvager. Salvager. I would love to make... You know, I mean, it'd be kind of a waste, now that I'm thinking about it. It'd be kind of a waste to make a... Uh, a bot that goes out and salvage or mines made out of this stuff. I mean, it's a military corporation. That is where it's going to shine. That is where it's going to do the most damage, the, the accuracy that it has. So doing that would be weird, but at the same time, I think it would be incredibly cool because I've never done one, and I want to see how it reacts. I want to just kind of play around with it, you know, just put them in weird scenarios and be like, can you do it? And if it ends up working, then we know that it has the skill. And I think it does. I think it has the skill to do it uh, quite a bit. We're going to put it right there because it looks just too wonky way up there on top of the other one. Let's see. We're going to need all of our bots, all of our pieces. Oh, he's coming right for me. He's like, I'm not going to wait for you to get set up. I'm going to bring my, my A game over here. Let's put this down. We're going to put down that right there. And we're going to start attacking. Oh, no. He's he's attacking my thing, too. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't like that. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Attack. I don't know why it wouldn't attack. That's uh, that's kind of weird. Let's uh, put down a few more solar reactors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to win this one, baby. Oh, baby. That is what I'm talking about. That is beautiful. Oh, we got a Venture... A Venture Nose? Uh, what is this? A propeller? Yeah, we got a propeller. That's the one of the first ones we've gotten there. We should be able to use that, though, to actually um, maybe make an airplane. I mean, that's not really our goal. It's to make an airplane, but at the same time, it's not a bad thing to try, especially if we got the pieces for it. So let me go ahead and charge up our batteries just a little bit more while we wait. Let me put down a few more of these suckers here. I think these go a lot faster than the uh, the Geocore ones. The Geocore ones are nice. I like them. They're big, and they do give off a lot more energy per shot, but I don't think they have the speed. Just kind of the same thing with the shields. The shields for the GSO ones tend to recharge and take the damage a whole lot better than the uh, Geocore ones. The Geocore ones are bigger, but not quite as good in a lot of ways. So, you know, I mean, it really comes down to what you're using it for, but in my opinion, going with the smaller ones tends to work out better for you. Not to mention, they're easier to put in because they take up less space. Uh, so we're gonna have to put everything over here because this stuff is just kinda a weird angle. Yeah, see, I mean, I gotta, I gotta put it in the air, and it's just not really letting me do that here, unless I change the, the camera angle here. Let's go ahead and do this, get these guys up. I really, it'd be kind of cool if they gave you a tool that could just swipe everything there on the ground, and it would just, you know, take all the stuff that's been anchored right off, and uh, let you, let you do whatever you want with that. Uh, no, we don't want to anchor that. We want to put that back in there, and uh, put this over here. We got an extra battery, so we'll take that, and we'll be able to see exactly what our battery count is. And if you look over to the left, you'll see there's a lot of enemies just waiting to be destroyed by my bot. So that's exactly where we're going. We're going to come over here and kill these guys. We're going to get the skill. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. It's a bigger one. It's like a tank version of, uh, oh, it's like a dune buggy. That's cool. It has the bigger wheels and everything. 
I like that. What's the name of it? Does it, it does it not show me the name? Maybe it showed it when I first went in. It doesn't seem like it has a name. The other guys have names, and he doesn't. He's definitely not one of mine, but he is going to be destroyed, and, uh, what do you have? You have anything good? I mean, everything you got on you is good, but you have anything unique that I don't have access to yet. <laughs> you can see he was buried in the inside just like I was. Uh, these wills are fairly expensive. I would definitely pick them up if you guys don't have a lot of cash and you're still looking for more stuff. The wills would be the number one thing. We got a glider over here. Uh, we've taken on this guy a couple of times. He looks really, really cool. He's just a powder keg waiting to happen. He is very, very flammable and does not survive very long. So, yeah, definitely a... Uh, I don't want to say a poor design, but not a very sturdy one. <laughs> he is uh, He's more of cannon fodder. Very cool explosions. And maybe that would be something, you know, I keep talking about how I really wish they would allow you to in integrate builds that you choose. You know, like if you open yourself up to Twitter, you get all the stuff that people design. But it would be cool to be able to say, I want this, 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 and this body in there. And you could really say, okay, this is going to be like a Halloween-esque and all these like pumpkin shaped guys will come in and I got like the snowmans for you know Christmas and but for this you could do something even different you would have explosives and just have your bots that come in as the invaders just covered in things that would explode all over the place just for fun like it wouldn't be that challenging because it'd be easy but at the same time if you could make restrictions and say you can't buy pieces you can't uh, you can't build with anything that you don't find if you had bots like that that just uh, self-destruct when they blow up, there's not going to be a lot left. And it would make it really challenging at the exact same time for something like that. And we did get a new piece right there. So let's go ahead and put that down. This is a uh, plume wing. So we should be able to use that at some point. If we want to build an airplane with it. Wow, look at that. It stands straight up. Huh. Would have thought it would tipped over. But no, that's, that's standing straight up like that. That's cool. But yeah, if we're going to make an airplane, we'll definitely use that for now, though. I think we're going to be aiming towards helicopters. I know some people were saying for the tank stuff, you do kind of have to get to the, uh, the last grade before you have access to any of that. So the tank is going to have to wait, but the helicopter, helicopter is what I want. I know a lot of you out there are probably the same way. Because, you know, with the helicopter, you're going to have more control. The one thing about the airplane is you got to keep going forward. And so when you're trying to attack these guys that are on the ground the ultra tank probably not the greatest to come up here with the three pound cannons right in the front coming at them from behind would have been the better way but uh yeah there we go i think it's that rail gun that gets right through to the center block and just completely destroys it. <laughs> there's stuff flying way out in the distance and it's still landing wow okay i like my design i like it i like it a lot and I did put enough weapons on the back that I feel at least he's somewhat protected back there. The enemies don't seem to be trying to troll him anymore. To be. Is there another bot that says not to be? Or, uh, that is the question. <laughs> not a very good one, but uh, let's see. We're going to kill you so we can move on to the next guy. There we go. 17 out of 30. It's really not taking us that long to get these. Maybe another uh, 10, 15 minutes and we'll have all of these done. Still not going to max this out. I think maybe another four or five quest if they continue with the experience we're getting on these. But the cool thing would have been is if they give you these while you're already doing the other ones, you're going to do like double up on quests. So it doesn't feel like you're just kind of sitting there grinding it out, which is kind of what you're doing. You're, you kind of have to go out there and get these mobs just so that you can, um, you know, get that, that corporation level because it's almost the last one you get. You know, if GSO was the quickest one to level, and it used to be, it actually used to be one of the fastest because the, all the mobs you used to fight were pretty much GSO right off the bat. And you got experience for every single one of them, whether or not they were quest related. And so you'd max that one out pretty quickly. And then going and trying to find Venture and Geocore, those were kind of the more difficult ones. And I think they tried to balance it out a little bit more saying, uh, we want you to level them all up equally. But in the end, I think they... Uh, they actually made it a little bit more difficult to level up GSO. And considering GSO has more grades, grade 4, and I'm still going through it, and Geocore only has grade 3, I think Venture is only on grade 3, and I think somebody said grade 4 for the Hawkeye, but I could be wrong on that one again. First time going through it, it may only go up to grade 2, make grade 3, I don't know. We're definitely going to find out this time. I don't know why I'm turning around. You want to go to the back of me, go for it, dude. You're just going to get shot with a shotgun in your face. Come on. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Huh? Yeah, you wanted to go back there. You're more than welcome to it. It's all good for me, guys. <laughs> I like the shotguns. They get close, they die. 
Those shotguns are absolutely amazing. We're going to go back to that question mark, guys. Don't think I forgot it. But I couldn't resist coming over here and killing this Venture guy. Just off all by himself. And uh, look at the shotguns. We get so close to them. They just pop all over the place. All right. You want to get behind me, too? That's all right. There you go. You're right behind me. How do you enjoy the view? You like it? I don't think you do. I don't think you like it back there. Bad, bad decision. Okay, let's see. Question mark. We got to get right on top of it. And then they should drop, if we're lucky, like three of them. And then like two or three more waves of these guys. So that would be beautiful because that would give me all the ones I need. All right, rail tail. We got uh, K9. You guys are going down regardless. Wow, he has two cabs on him. I like the way that looks with the two cabs, actually. Not very powerful, but still very, very cool design. There you go. You are dead. Let's see, what about you? I had to cut out on the sound again. Why does it keep doing that? Hmm. I might have to uh, restart the game here after this video. Let's see if I can fix that. I do apologize again, guys. I don't know why it glitches out like that sometimes. Let's put this sucker down. Get that going on. 24 out of 30. Are there any more enemies anywhere near me? I don't see any. This dude did have a shield on him, so that was kind of nice. We'll be able to get an extra one of those. I don't see extra weapons, though. Oh, oh yes, we do have an extra weapon right here. That's one of the rare ones we don't get too many of. I think we only have one right now on the front of my bot. Uh, this is the back of the bot. Where is it at? Right there. Yep. So, I could put another one on. Let's do that. Let's see. Weapons. Uh, yes, Hawkeye Railgun right there oh that looks beautiful that looks absolutely beautiful will it work though because now it's kind of going over yeah it's kind of going over where it shouldn't go so let's put this one there and we'll move this over here not exactly symmetric guys i know but we we're trying to make do with what we got and sometimes it's just not gonna fit on there so it's gonna be more of a uh a redesign when we go back in there and redesign it and we have access to these weapons and that's when we'll be able to make everything kind of fit just right so we're we're making do with what we got and i think we got some pretty good stuff so let's get this guy 25 out of 30 once this guy is dead i'm already making plans for him to be gone because he's not he's not even a challenge he just dies right away we need five more guys come on boost it get it get it we're not catching any air, though. We're still way too heavy. It's it's really hard to catch air when you have these boosters and these uh, fuel tanks on there. And to be honest, they, they weigh a lot. There we go. Look at that. When you see those rail guns go off, there's a lot of damage being done. Where did this come from? Why is this on my bot? Oh, wow. Our shields are down. Our shields are down. No. No. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. One of our fuel tanks. Oh, no. We're blowing up. Oh, no. Can I buy all those pieces again? Yes, yeah, 7,800. Unbelievable. The dude took me out. He took me out, guys. That sucked. Okay, well, it's a good thing we had some money on us. I can't believe it only cost 7,800 to replace all these pieces. That, That's not right. Because, you know, the, the, the... I can't even talk. I'm so flabbergasted that actually happened. The uh, the wheels alone cost more than that. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely not a thing. Let's go ahead and uh, heal back up real quick. <laughs> Jeez, what on earth, man? What on earth? Actually, we don't even need to put that thing down. We can just, uh, well, we do anyways, because we want to pick this stuff up once, once it's, uh, once it's ready to go. Make sure you attach these things. The electricity can only flow through them if the objects are attached to one another. So if there's not attachment to it, then it's not really going to do a whole lot for you. Uh, of course, it does still create energy all by itself. It's just not going to transfer that extra energy through all the ones. So if you add on a whole bunch next to it, it's only going to be for that small piece. Like this one right there, you know, those two are not connected to one another. I actually had to pick it up and drag it that way. And then these things will, you know, slowly, very, very slowly, you can see it right there on this top one, finally start uh, building up that energy. <laughs> I do like this little roly-poly thing here on the side, the little red, uh, what is it, a track? I think it's tracking, right? Pointer radar. This thing right here it just looks cool. Every time I see it, it just kind of adds that flair to the bot that is something that we haven't had. We don't have a lot of moving parts on our bots. The radar is one of the few things that move around. You can see it right there. It moves around very slow. Uh, other than that, nothing else really moves. Even these uh, solar panels, they don't really move with the sun. They kind of do and they kind of don't. You know, it's not quick. It's not fast. You don't see it happening. 
So, yeah, it's, it's very few uh, moving parts, and I wish there was a few more on there because it's kind of a cool little thing to have. Let's go ahead and grab these. Nope, that is not going to work with that angle. Let's go ahead and snag all of these, drop them on there. Getting a little bit of lag right there. Let's see, can we get these in there? Come on, get them, get them, get them. I think we had a couple not even connected right there in the front. All right, so all of you are going to get picked up. All right, so we got an enemy to our left and behind us, and we got an enemy off to our right. I'm going to say let's go off to the left because he's very, very close to us. And I'm hoping, yep, he is another one of us. <laughs> Hopefully he'll have something different that we haven't seen yet. I'm, I'm really looking forward to those missiles. I want my missiles. I want my missiles. I can't tell you how much I want those missiles. Oh, yes, he got another one of those guns. Let's put it here on the side. We'll put the other one over here for now so it can get healed up and we don't lose it. Let's see, we're going to put these, we're going to put this one over here on this side. Oh, uh, wow, okay, so let's move this to the back so this can be facing forward. This one is doing the exact same thing right, ah, uh, come on, you know you want to be right there, yeah, beautiful. Now, I could move it up slightly one more, and then I could have one facing forward and one facing behind, but I don't really need to do that right now. Uh, because I don't really want it firing backwards. Uh, you know, there's just not enough people that uh, are on the angle on the sides like that for me. <laughs> Come on. You are, you're literally picking stuff up while I'm firing at you. You're going to blow up in just a blaze of gore. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we got some more guys over here. Two more, which is all we need. Actually, there's three more over here. There's one over there in that little corner. You can see him hiding behind a little tree for a half a second. Uh, he got his... Uh, his plasma cutter on. Gotta stay away from that sucker. Those things actually do a fair bit of damage. Not really sure if I like the rail guns. I mean, they're really cool when they hit, but the fact that they have to fire straight, not not a whole lot of opportunity for that to happen most of the time. There we go. Come on, come on. Get you, get you, get you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay, let's see. We got another quest here. Hunt and destroy 20 venture. You got to be kidding me. Really? Venture? They're not easy to find. What have we found? Like three, four this entire time? We've been hunting this quest for 30 of them. So, yeah, that's that's going to take a while, guys. So, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. On the next episode, in between this one and the next one, I think I'm going to expand this bot to be a little bit bigger. Maybe quite a bit bigger. And, uh, you know, kind of uh, clear up a little space in between. Clear up some space for the boosters. Put more weapons around the outside. Things of that sort. And then we will go off looking for more techs. I'm hoping at the very least as our bot gets bigger, there's a good chance that we'll find more. Well, you know, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we should stay small for a little while. Because venture techs are normally pretty small. If we go too big, we may not find very many venture techs. In fact, that might be one of the main reasons we're not seeing very many of them as it is. We're not very big. I would call this uh, medium to big size. We could go a little smaller on it and maybe find some. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Either way, we're going we're gonna to be expanding this bot at some point in the future, but I'm not sure if we're ready there for it just yet. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I'm AC Gamer, and I will definitely catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kinda of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually, but for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.